Hey guys, welcome to Dee Dee's Dolly Den. Um, I won't be doing videos probably for the rest of the week. Um, if I do, that means I'm home. If, you know, anyway. My son was admitted to the hospital today. We had to call an ambulance. We just couldn't get him uh, straightened out. He was fevering and he was high respirations, um, high heart rate, uh, requiring a lot of oxygen, more than we can provide at home because our it only goes to two liters at home. Anything beyond that, we have to come here. So um, we're at the hospital and they just came in and they are admitting him. Now, all of his tests are coming back good. He's not got pneumonia or anything like that. They're thinking it is in the trach. So like a tracheitis, it won't show up in blood. You have to do cultures. So, and cultures take time to get back, but he's needing a lot of like deep suctioning below the trach. We we're, we cannot do that at home. A respiratory has to do it. So he is being admitted. So I will be down here at the hospital with him. Um, I will go home tomorrow for a little bit because I have an oncologist appointment that I cannot miss. It took me too long to get the darn thing scheduled. So... Um, I'm here and my husband's at home with our other son, but I'm going to show you my little guy. You say hi, Jackson. Say hi. That's my sweet little boy, you guys. We have not, um, been in the hospital for sickness since October. We were here in January for surgery, but not sickness. So, um, we don't know what's going on, but I'm pretty sure it's coming from the trach because when he coughs he gets really worked up really fast really hard and usually he don't do that with a cough he is running a slight fever um things like that so but the cultures take a while so um they're gonna go ahead and admit him tonight so i did go ahead and pack a bag just in case i brought his wheelchair just in case we got to go home too so but they just came in and said that we're gonna be admitted so I will be spending the night at the hospital with my son. Um, hopefully we're not here too long and this is a short stay and they can get to the bottom of what's going on and all of that good stuff. So I knew something was off this morning when we were having to call an ambulance because he was doing this stuff three nights in a row. None of us had sleep and it just wasn't Jackson's norm and we knew something was up. So um, when I can't get him stable, we call an ambulance and that's what had happened. So. Anyway, but he's stable now. They've got him in good shape, but he is on oxygen. I'm not sure how much. Two liters, I believe. And they asked me, and I said, well, we use two at home, but it's only when he's sick. Because most of the time when Jackson's healthy, he's not on oxygen at all. So that was another clue that something is wrong, and then that they have the deep suctions. Another clue, and then the fever. So pretty sure we've got tracheitis rolling, which can be treated with a inhaler generally is how they do it or just a lot of um treatments respiratory treatments which we can do at home we can do that part at home so anyway just wanted to get on here and update you guys there will be no videos um until we get to go home so yeah wish us luck i never do go to sleeping in the hospitals it kills my back you guys my poor back but I got to do what I got to do for my child. And he is more important to me than anything. So anyway, you all take care and have a wonderful week. It is hot here today. I'm just hoping my van starts. We had to jump start it to get down here. Um, my van's a piece of junk, put it that way. <laughs> so anyway, but we're going to get off here. I'm going to go over and love on Jackson. He's awake. He was sleeping a while ago. So he's awake. And I, I tease him that he's chewing his cud. He a lot and I call it he's chewing his cut he's a little cow chewing his cut so you all take care and I'll talk to you later bye